Well, folks, I'm not even going to get in the way of the camera of this one from the start. <clears throat> this, is, this is a badass car. I'm just coming right out and saying it. Welcome to Celebrity Cars, folks. The 2021 AMG Mercedes. Bi-turbo V8. The hell you need me and the viewer for. This car is just so hot. And it sounds incredible. The interior is so cool. Bright red calipers. The wheels are in great shape. The paint is in just fine shape. The 2021, um, it's, uh, I believe, the miles. The miles said, the miles, what the miles say? There's not many miles on this one. I think it might be, you know, around 7,000. We'll look at it in a couple of minutes. But I, I don't think there's even 8,000 miles on this car. It's just a beautiful ride. Now, I, I am gonna throw a little clause in here that we didn't get a chance to detail this car. Well, what are you videoing it for? If you, oh, I want, I, I'm show, this is, car is so beautiful, I'm showing you how beautiful it is even before it, it gets a full on detail. How's that? Okay, what do I mean by it doesn't have a detail? Well, I can feel a little bit of, you know, film spin around the environment. Uh, a little clay bar would be nice. Um, also, uh, <clears throat> uh, it's black and welcome to Las Vegas. <laughs> Um, but it, it is really a pretty car. There's a couple little marks on it. I'm gonna go over what they are. Uh, welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located not too far off the strip where all the shiny lights are. They're right down the street. If you like cars, supercars, classic cars, muscle cars, we got all that stuff. But today we're offering this 2021 AMG. Um, and I'm your living, breathing condition report. So I gotta go over and let you know, maybe you live on the other side of the country. You wanna really wanna know the condition of this paint. That's why I'm here. The condition of the interior what the motor looks like. You can also go to celebritycars.com and find out how many owners this has had, uh, what options it came with and all that kind of stuff. I'm not doing that. I'm your condition report guy. So come on in here. I should have a rag on me and I don't. Um, but uh, you know, the, the, the lower valence down here is in absolutely beautiful shape. Little signs of road wear over here on this side. Very, very light. Not even really enough for me to really pinpoint out. It's a black car. It's got some miles on it, and you're going to get road wear. The Mercedes logo is beautiful. The grill is all in one piece. It's all on here real good. The AMG logo up front, uh, very, very cool to see. The headlights are in great shape. And then, Quincy, if you could do me a favor and do a light drag of your camera across the front of the car, you'll see some light scratches just in the clear coat. Now, not down into the paint. I haven't been able to find a whole lot of scratches, if any, on this car that I can put my fingernail into, and you know what I mean. Those scratches don't go away. Here's a small chip right here that has left a, you know, a white mark. Uh, very, very mild, normal road wear uh, for a black car, okay? All down here, this carbon fiber piece is super sharp. I didn't even really notice that until now, until the reflection just caught my eye. It's just a beautiful car. Normal road wear up front, folks. That's all there is to it. The hood, like I said, just normal road wear. Every once in a while, uh, a light mark in the clear coat, once again, will catch my eye, but that's just normal stuff. Car wash guy could, could leave those marks just as easy. Uh, but this car needs a full-on, really uh, awesome, with a wheel, a very good professional, expensive detail, and then you're in good shape. We just didn't have time to do it. The windshield has sign, a uh, very little sign of normal road wear. Um, it is what it is. Got a nice tint on this windshield as well. Uh, but little itty bitty marks here and there. Oh, that's not even a mark, that's a bug. Let's see if that's a bug too. Just little itty bitty normal road wear, folks. Black car, we're talking black car here. Yeah, this is where I wish I had my rag on me. Every once in a while you see just a little itty bitty mark. Some of it just needs to be detailed. This is a moon roof from what I understand. So am I right on that? Let me see this. Is it? Oh, it is. Yeah. Moon roof up here. Boy, I couldn't tell. Couldn't even tell looking in there. Got a nice screen over to shade everything off. Pretty awesome. All this, I don't see any, uh, you know, egg corns, no hail damage, none of that kind of stuff going on here. So we're in good shape. The back glass has got a heavy tint to it and it's super sharp. The top of the trunk back here, this all looks good. Every once in a while, I'll see a little mild mark 
Um, you know, it's that gray, blackish kind of paint where you, you, know, you just see light scratches really well, especially, you know, clear coat kind of stuff. I'm gonna walk around, just do a whole top, and then we'll do the sides. Once again, you know, every once in a while, I see a fingerprint, you know, a, a light, uh, oh, actually, okay. All right, let's address this one. Can you see that, Quincy? Yeah. Kind of doing this, folks. I know a detailer will make this look better, but unfortunately, my fingernail hops in there just a little bit. It's really not, I mean, it, I, it might even look worse on, I, I wouldn't even have noticed it until I, you know, walking around the car and just actually studying the paint, which I'm hired to do. We hire fancy camera guys who's holding on to the, we, we spend lots of money to make sure you guys are satisfied um, and, and what you're looking at, especially if you can't get out of here anytime soon. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that we find things like that together. The rest of the moonroof looks good. Uh, once again, a couple little road wear things, but nothing to really point out over here on the window. We've got another small chip right there. On the windshield, does it have to be repaired? No, this is all normal stuff. And looking back at the remaining part of the hood here, this all looks great. Okay, let's get down and drill into the sides here. I got a mark right here from here to here on top of this fender flare. I can get my fingernails into that one, unfortunately, folks, but you know what? It's the first time I've seen this one uh, because I've studied this car and, I, geez, I didn't even see it until now. But little mark right there, it's, uh, it's not obnoxious, but it is what it is and it's there. Okay, front wheel and tire. Looks like I have... Oh, I don't know what that is. Is that a curb? No, it's just a sticker. Okay, no curb rash on the front wheel and tire. Red brake caliper looks great and uh, the wheel's in terrific shape. It's a very flat black. Okay, working my way down, down the side of the car. I see some mild marks of getting in and out of the car, like pant legs and so on, and, and the rubber soles of shoes, uh, leather uh, hitting this, getting in, it's very mild. And once again, I think a really nice detail will make most of that go away. Uh, I don't see any dings or any of that nature down the side of the car. This is black, you can see black dings really, really easy. The door handle looks good. There is a couple marks of getting in and out of the car with this, you know, hitting the, hitting the car next to it or the garage wall or whatever, just real mild, super mild. All right, rear wheel and tire. We do have some curb rash on this wheel. It starts right here and works its way to about here and stops. And then there's a little bit of a mark right there as well. And then we have continued curb rash here. Now, okay. So this, this wheel is pretty curb rashed, but you know what? Once again, my face is 12 inches from it and you back up a little bit. This isn't like the, you know, the jarring thing that you can see from 10 feet away. This is a, a very mild curb rash. Again, it is what it is. Can this be repaired? Absolutely, for really cheap too. Um, brake wheel, all this stuff, all real nice shape. All right, now let's look at the trunk area. Um, there's barely a mark of getting stuff in and out of the trunk. Let's pop the trunk. Oh, hey. All right, well, we don't need these in here. We'll cover license plates. Uh, I'm not really sure what we have here. I believe this is probably some kind of either uh, storage bin for back here in the trunk or maybe some kind of wind shear thing. I don't know what that is. Here we go. Here's your, I don't know, extra parts for the... Mercedes. Give us a call. It's not my job to pull apart these things. If you're going to give us a call, we'll get into detail about what all's going in there uh, and what all comes along with the car. I need a, a clay bar to get some residue off of this glass back here. Uh, it's just some sediment sitting here from after cleaning that somebody didn't pop the trunk and clean up. But other than that, all of this is in real nice shape. Barely a mark getting in and out of the trunk. I don't think this trunk was used very often. All right, I'm gonna get way down here and check out this back bumper. I don't see any signs of it backing into anything. Uh, the chrome exhaust tips are super cool. And this is all in one piece back here. Nope, nobody backed into anything, all looks good. Okay, tail lights look great. Ooh, look at that, you see this? That is cool too, what's going on there? Is that functional? I don't know, whatever it is, it's cool. 
All right, working our way down the driver's side now. Driver's side, rear wheel and tire. No curb rash back here. Barrel looks good, brakes look good. All that cool stuff. Got some fingerprints getting in and out of the car. Sorry about that. And then down here, once again, uh, this is, uh, you know, 90% of this that you might see on film. Uh, this just needs to be clay barred and polished and waxed. Uh, and here and this from here to here, uh, including this little mark right there, is just you know, climbing in and out of the car. Um, you know, sometimes people forget about watching the soles of their feet when they get out of the car and they mark up these little side spoilers pretty good. And uh, this is very mild. And once again, it just needs a good detail. Uh, I don't see any dings down this side of the car. I've already kind of looked for those prior to us filming today. Uh, every once in a while, my eye once again catches the clear coat stuff that needs to be polished up. But other than that, it's just in great shape. Door handle looks good. Side mirror looks good. Nice carbon fiber all over it. And your front wheel and tire, this, this all looks good. Small chip right there. Super small, look how small that is, but there's one. And your front wheel and tires are fingers all the way around. No curb rash on this one either. Barrel looks good, everything looks great. All right, let's pop the hood. And then we'll look at this really awesome interior. This AMG is no slouch, folks. We're gonna drive it in a couple of minutes. We're gonna see how fast it goes. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we're gonna drive it in a couple of minutes, make sure it does all the things that it's supposed to do. All this is nice and clean under here. It looks well cared for. No surprises. Nothing's jumping out at me, it looks good. Okay, check out this interior, folks. I'll stay right here with you for a minute, Quincy. Um, it seems like, uh, you know, I'm seeing more marks down here on this spoiler than actually getting in and out of the car. This is all in real great shape. Just mild marks, but other than that, this is, this normally gets banged up really bad and this is in good shape. Please check out the door, this, uh, wow. I guess that's steel, aluminum, or impressive plastic, I'm not sure what it is, but it's awfully sharp. Speakers in it, all the button controls for your seat. And this is in beautiful shape. The red stitching, the red inlays are just super, super cool. I'll let you look at the driver's seat. The bolster's getting in and out of it, so it's little to nowhere. This interior is in fabulous shape. I'm gonna open up the other side. Center console, all the carbon fiber is beautiful. Steering wheel looks terrific. Man, this is a sharp car in here. And then when you start it, all this stuff lights up in all different colors. It's beautiful in here. Carpet's in great shape. We've protected the carpets down up front here. Um, I'm gonna, uh, you know what, Quincy, we're gonna, we're gonna come over and look at this side together. Let me close this up real quick so you can see everything all closed up. That's cool. Center console, the seat, rear seats, probably nobody's ever sat back there. Um, I wanted to show this. I, I don't know what that is. I guess from the door opening and closing on this chrome right here, uh, it's got some mild marks going back and forth across there. No big deal, I'm just pointing it out. Water mark right there. Um, well, we're in good shape. Seats look great. What a sharp car. Did you see enough? Are we good? Okay, cool. All right, well, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out and we're gonna drive it. We're gonna drive it around the block, make sure we don't hear any weird noises, make sure the transmission does what it's supposed to do, the brakes, so on and so forth. Uh, and uh, I'm excited to drive this. I haven't driven this one yet. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back inside the really awesome 2021 Mercedes-Benz AMG 63. And I gotta tell you, I don't wanna get out. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, the very colorful dashboard, everything's illuminated. Uh, I'm still in, rear, in reverse, so you got a really awesome screen of what's going on behind. My foot's on the brake still. I'm gonna access uh, uh, drive now. Oh, I still, still seeing my entire surroundings. It's a very special car. I bet it's screamingly fast as well. 
Are we going to find that out today? No. Uh, but uh, look, I, we, we looked at the, we did the entire condition and in here in the sunlight, nothing changes. It's absolutely spectacular. It's beautiful. I just have it in drive. I'm going to take my foot off the, off the brake and we're going to drive down to the end of the road. I'm going to hit the brakes and make sure it does all the things it's supposed to do. No, I'm not playing with paddles today or anything like that. Air conditioner is working great though. I almost feel like this thing could drive itself. My steering is locked on. 42 miles an hour, hitting the brakes, three, two, one. Wow. I barely hit the brakes and this thing stops. Wow. Wow. I, I will say, I'm gonna put this in neutral too, just because the, for the heck of it. When you start this car, it, you know, every car, do, 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 you know, zoom, starts up. This one kind of goes rawr, rawr, when you start, it's got a growl to it. It's really cool. I don't think I capture it real well on the screen, so, or, you know, and the microphone, so I'm not going to screw it. You just have to take my word for it. Back on the gas, the, this, this V8 motor, it sounds unbelievable in here. It's very faint, because, you know, we're in a fancy Mercedes, so. Speed bumps, this thing's laughing at them. Very smooth. Speed bump number two. Wow. All right, this is where I get on the gas pedal just a little bit harder, make sure I don't feel anything weird, brakes feel great, all that stuff. Back on the gas. Turn signals on, right hand turn. This is, uh, this is close to a race car, folks. This is a very luxurious race car. That's what I'm calling it. The odometer shows 7,033 miles. I was way off earlier, I think. Wow, what a ride. Folks, per performance, holy. I just, this, this performance, just this, just this car just is crazy. It's beautiful, it's a monster. On top of it looking absolutely un unbelievable. I I've never seen one of these on the road, folks, so come and get it. 702-818-1031. This is a badass car. Wow, I don't wanna get out of this one either. We'll see you next time.